Sa kanang video guys, ipakita na ko sa inyo ha kung unsa na ba na unsa na ba na hitabo sa abo ang Philippine stock portfolio. So ang purpose po sa kanang video guys, this timer lang sa is for us to show you our picks or uh, unsa na ba amo ang kumbaga portfolio. This is not to say na mao ni siya ang dapat niyo paliton. It's just that mao ni amo ang gipili and mao ni siya ang base amo ang risk appetite and investment style, no? Which is kanunay jud sa amo ang investment strategies is nagahatag sa mga of both capital gains at the same time dividends. Mao jud na siya ang purpose of why we are investing in the Philippine stock market or majority of our investments. So please lang do your own research. Dili mo mag-invest tungod kay ginastoryahan nato dire or nakita niyo sa lain ng mga video sa YouTube or sa mga video sa Facebook or gi-recommend sa inyo hang friends, di ba? You have to do your own research in order for you to say na ikaw mismo kampante ka sa imong decision before you invest in any of these asset class. So in this case, we are talking about the Philippine stock market. Let's talk about the first suite that we have which is AD. Now we decided to invest in ADIT last August 2020 katong nag IPO sila and then nagadungag-dungag pud mi usahay kun ami mga extra funds for it. And so far ang amu ang profit no sa kaning specific na investment is naabot na siya mga 21.54%. And the good thing about investing in REITs mga good guys is that you're given you are given as an investor naga earn ka pinaagi sa capital gains at the same time dividends. Capital gains, sama ni nakita nyo dali, nisaka siya 21.54%, but pasabot, pagpalitan mo sa stock, at to na time is mas barato pa siya. Okay? Karon mas mahal na iyang valuation, which is 40 pesos per share na siya as of this recording, sa una iyang IPO price sa Sabainti City. So kung sakali ni palit ka sa una, Sabainti City ang iyang presyo, tapos niabot siya karon of 40 pesos, that's a 13 peso per share gain. On top of that, naapad yun kayo madawat ng mga dividends. Which is, gina-release na nila on a quarterly basis. Ang recent, ang pinaka-latest uh, na nadawat na mo is around 0.44 pesos. So you just multiply that by the number of shares that you have, that's the dividends that you're going to get. That's what's good about investing in REITs because naga-earn na ka, pinaagi sa capital gains, kung sakali, na gusto niyo siya i-liquidate, ibaligyan na niyo yung asset and then turn it into cash because you needed money, i-transfer niyo siya yung bank account so that you can use the money. Or you can just hold it and wait for the stock to go up but at the same time, while you are not selling it, naagabong kayo madawat ng mga dividends. That's the good thing about investing in REITs or any dividend stocks. DDMPR is Double Dragon Meridian Park and kanabit taong building na mura siya divide nila into three buildings but actually they are just located in just one same block which is around 4,000 uh, square meters. Sa tanan na reach so far dahil sa Pilipinas, mao pa lang ni siya ang baba o value since its IPO. Ang IPO price, honey, if I'm not mistaken, was around 2 pesos and as of this recording, nasa sa 1.88. Kadaghanan po sa mga nag-invest sa DDMPR, negative pa ang ilang capital appreciation. Yun nga lang, even if negative ang ilang capital appreciation, naga po sila madawat ng mga dividends. Nga nang inana man, it's because, mga good, ang mga REITs, no, they are required to distribute 90% of their income. So, by law. So, in that case, even if you're not really making money out of the capital gains, capital gains. In this case, nakita niyo sa itong screen karon, negative 14.65% ang DDMPR na portfolio na mo. Pero despite that, naagya po minanawad ng mga dividends. And that's the beauty of it because, well, at least, di ba, you're earning money out of it even if the stock is going down. The next one that we have here that we're going to discuss is dito. Now, we all know dito, grabe yung spike up sa presyo, niabot siya mga 17 pesos, di ba, niabot siya 16 pesos, katong mga taas-taas kayo na bull run niya. And then all of a sudden, ninaog siya to a point na iyahang latest price as of this recording is around 7.60 pesos. So try to imagine kung nakita niyo itong mga posts sa Facebook or sa inyong mga friends na nisaka nila mga dito na portfolio and then you bought at the highest price which is around 17 pesos and then as of now, nasa sa mga 7.60, that's a huge loss. In our case, ang amu ang loss in terms of percentage is around 42.46% percent negative. Mona guys, if it, if in case you're thinking about investing in a stock market and someone out there is telling you na musaka lagi na musaka lagi na, you have to understand that there are moments in the stock market na musaka siya ug muna ug siya. Kamay lang jud among gipalitan na kay wala lang, mura gitisting lang na mo siya and then okay, so this is how it works. We're just waiting for it, siguro mo green siya and then we're going to sell it and divert the funds to other investments. Then the next one that we have is fill invest. Ang iyahang IPO price ani is nasa mga city pesos, 
which is as of this recording nakita niyo din sa screen ay sa mga 7.35 pesos per share siya. So nisaka siya from its IPO price. And Philinvest, they have around 17 buildings na ilahang appeal sa ilahang REITs, no? And then they are one of the developers na kumbaga dugay. As and dugay na siya din sa Pilipinas and established sa Jutsha. Bag ulang pud mi nag-try ani. In fact, I think as of this recording mga one day or like today lang namo siya gipalit because mas ganahan mo gud invest sa other REITs just like MREIT and RCR. So we did a little bit of research. Ang iyang dividend yields is nagya sa 5% and above, mga 5 to 6% and above. And that's also the reason why we invested in it. It's because of the dividends that we have received. Negative 1.19 percent. Maybe, no? Maybe sa next ato na mga portfolio reveal, maybe makita nato kung musaka or muna og banisha. Kay na tamingan as at least nakita niyo karon as of this recording, mao ni siya ang amo ang pagpalit, pagsulod. We could have joined unta. We could we could have invested katung city peso siya. Pero just like what what we are saying, di muna nato mabalik ng oras na. So at least nakita na to karon and next month hopefully musaka siya and that is your proof na na ajuin na, na ang stock market moments up and down moments. Next naman is Emreed. So Emreed is uh, by Mega World. Kadaghanan sila mga tenants kay naa sa BPO industry. And the good thing is Emreed is one of the largest, no? Pinakadako na na REITs dere sa Pilipinas. Ang ilahang demand is very high. No, to a point na ang ilahang PSE listing date na extend to two days or one day, na himo siya October 1, it's because of the demand niya sa marketplace. So, bago lang po yung minagsulod na, but now, nisaka na po siya o 5.96%. So, when it comes to MREIT, guys, mo siya ang uh, once again by Mega World, and ang ilahang tenants po is nasa mga 90% or 90 plus percent ang ilang occupancy rate. Actually, halos sila tanan, taas yung kayo sila occupancy rate. Ang pinakataas ako na remember is A REIT, is nasa mga 98%. No? Mo po na nakita na to na ang ADT jud ang ilahang capital appreciation is nagasaka po jud siya. The last one that we have here is RCR which is by Robinsons. Kita na to dire 6.75 ang iyang last price as of this recording that is 3.25% ang amo ang growth no sa pagpalit ana niya. Now sa MREIT and RCR and Phil Invest since these are relatively new na mga na mga REITs wala pa sila nag-release og dividends. Yun nga lang, expect nato for the next how many months na naputi madawat ang mga dividends from it. Pero the good thing is despite the fact na wala pa sila nag-release og dividends, na agyapon tay income na uh, na ni saka gihapon ang value appreciation niya, o yung value in general. At least nakita ninyo na mao ni siya ang dagat sa mga sa mga investments. This is not to brag. Wala namo siya gidapakita para ikpahambog. Gidapakita namo ni siya sa inyo for educational reasons, no? But then again, do your own research about it. And at the same time, when we talk about investing in the stock market, specifically in the Philippine stock market, kami pod mismo naga invested mi sa Philippine stock market. One of the major and biggest advantages mangu kung sa kanya naga invest ka sa stock market in general is is ang yahang liquidity. But pasabot kung kinahangla ni mo ang kwarta jud karon, no katung cash na jud, you can sell your stock. And then within just a span of day or even just minutes, but na imu palit sa imu ang stock, and then you can convert that into cash. Mao na ang huge advantage when it comes to investing in the stock market. Sa kaliganahan ka makabalo kung unsaon na siya, unsaon pang open ng account na na ami online program na gihimo na binisaya ni siya, so it's easy for you to understand kung sa kalika sa buto kagbisaya. Then ibutan na mo ang link sa description, then you can go through that online program or you can enroll in it. In the next few videos, we're going to show you our crypto. No crypto na mga portfolio na so far. Okay, para kabalupud mo ah, okay, so mo siya ang among strategies when it comes to cryptocurrencies. Okay? So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe any thoughts regarding regarding Philippine stocks and which brings me to the question of the day. Sa imuhang Philippine stock market portfolio, unsa ba ang imuhang status? Are you in the green? Are you in the red or black? Green pasabot naga profit jud ang imong portfolio in this case amo naga profit ang imong portfolio thank you lord and kung red naman but pasabot lugi pa imong portfolio kung black naman put pasabot break even pa wala pa kay growth wala pa kay losses unrealized profit and loss pa man po na siya guys it will only be liquid it will be it will only be a reality kung sakali na convert ta jud mo siya or liquidate na mo imong assets okay so let us know your thoughts in the comment section and thank you for watching this video